Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Coach Coco and I love volleyball. So much so my channel is filled with tips, tricks, hacks, and everything you could ever need to know about volleyball. So today we are continuing the series learning about all the different volleyball positions there are out there and we're doing my favorite position of all time today which is the outside hitter. Now if you didn't know I played a middle hitter when I was in high school but then when I went to college I decided to change into something that I thought was really really better positioned for me which was the outside hitter because I love to swing, I love to play defense and I love to attack all around. So that is why I chose the outside hitter. If you've seen my channel or my vlogs, you see that I play the outside hitter most of the time now in tournaments and games, all of that. So it's something that's really important to me and I know a lot of you guys are aspiring volleyball players or you're playing now and you're still trying to decide what position do you think I should play. So this video is for somebody who maybe wants to be an outside hitter but they haven't tried it out yet or they're just looking for generally more information about the outside hitter. So in this video, I'm gonna include some clips of seventh grade and eighth grade volleyball because a lot of you guys are around that age group, but I'm also gonna include clips that I have taught myself of me playing the outside hitter position. So I'm gonna talk a little bit more about the outside hitter, what you could do to be an outside hitter, and some of outside hitter best practices. So let's get right into it. First of all, let's talk about what I'm doing right here. Like, what the heck? Anyways, this video is about outside hitters. So let's talk about it. So the outside hitter is something that I love dearly because it is the position where you can swing the most in. Most of the time, the outside hitter is the strongest swinger on the team or arguably very strong as a swinger. And the outside hitter, they play in the position of the left front. So most of all of these clips that I'm showing you is going to be the outside hitter swinging the ball so you can understand exactly what they need to do and how, what it looks like on your playing skill level. So the outside hitter, they typically tend to be pretty tall. However, they don't have to be the very tallest. A lot of the time the middle blocker is the tallest on the team because their primary role and job is to block. But the outside hitter should be pretty tall because they have to block as well. And that's one of their duties that's really important for them. But the outside hitter has a lot of other qualifications and skills that they need in order to be very strong. So I know I talk a lot about being an all-around player or knowing how to be well-rounded. And this is what I really mean. As an outside hitter, you need to be well-rounded because there's a lot of jobs you're gonna to have to know how to do I know that with more specialized positions like the setter you're kind of boxed into this role I mean you want to be well-rounded but you have more of a specific role that you're looking at but with the outside hitter it's not just that you want to know how to pass you want to know how to block you want to know how to serve you really want to work on those well-rounded skills because you're not just swinging all the time you are but at the same time you're playing defense and as a defensive player you need to know how to be ready to receive that dig ready to receive that pass and be ready to set yourself up to be in the best position so that way you can get the kill so knowing how to transition off of the net understanding volleyball strategy and inside that means looking at the court ahead of time to know where there's open spots and there's holes. Looking at the court ahead of time to see who's paying attention, who's not paying attention. Those are things that you have to really look at because as the primary swinger on your team, if you are, you need to know how to get the kill so that way you will win the game or help win the game for your team. So Coco, how do I know if I want to be an outside hitter? Well, there's a couple of things you should really ask yourself. You should ask yourself, do I really want to take that proactive role and be swinging a lot? Do I want to take that proactive role and be the primary hitter? If the, you answered yes to that, then maybe the outside hitter is for you. Do you know how to dig or you're willing to dedicate yourself to learn how to pass and dig on a higher level? Then maybe outside hitter is for you. Do you want to know how to be more offensive while still learning how to be defensive? And yeah, that position is for you. I am a very firm believer, and I talk about it all the time, about being well-rounded. I want you to have a good standard and a good grasp of all the skills so that way you're not boxed in as a player like I was and you have the opportunity to grow at a younger age than try to grow now because I had to learn how to pass when I was like 20 something so I want you to be able to learn all of those skills when you're younger so that way you have the better opportunities now um, so 
well-rounded, yes, but think about the position that you want to play. And if outside something that you want to do, then start working on those key skills, that hitting, that blocking, that digging and passing, while still working on those other supplemental skills that you need to know, like your serve, which we all should be working on our serve. I need to work on my serve, um, like uh, the setting and all of that stuff, the strategy, but make sure to look at those key skills. So. I hope that this video gave you a little bit more insight about the outside hitter and helped you in your decision process. Um, I hope that you like these clips because some of these clips, these eighth graders are killing it, man. Like for real, this is a really great game. If you have to watch this video back just to watch the game, please do because these swings, my swings in combination with these eighth graders, it is some great footage of outside. So please take a look at this video and think about the position that you want to play because volleyball season is coming up really soon. Did you like this video? I really hope that you liked this video, that it was something that was really informative to you, that you learned a lot about the outside hitter, that it helped you in your decision making process with the outside hitter. Also, remember, I'm having a giveaway. Did you see my last video? In my last video, I gave away a great outdoor molten volleyball. So make sure you enter that giveaway because it closes very soon. So go back to that video and watch it. All right, with everything, I see you guys next time. Like, comment, and subscribe.